everyone welcome back to my channel i know it's been a super long time i don't think anyone noticed but it's been a super long time for me um i honestly have been just really busy with school and life and also had nothing else to film and then i got an idea one day that i should um, film like a product empties and then speak about if i would repurchase them what i thought about them and then yeah that was the that was where what was my idea so I was wanting to do that today. I don't have a lot and I've just been accumulating stuff for the past few days or I guess let's say weeks now. But yeah, I wanted to share them with you guys. So I hope you like the video and please keep watching. Do you want my next one? Okay, please just... Mm -hmm. So I had spent the last few minutes trying to readjust this and let's get started. So I'm going to start off with the first product because it's here and not in the bag of the other stuff. Um, and that's it's so random but it's actually a Olay um, body wash. It has rose water and sweet nectar. It's so random but I always try new like different ones and I've never tried one um, from Olay, but I really liked it. It smells so good. It's like smells like roses. If you like that, it smells so good. And it was really oh, so wet. It was really moisturizing as well, so I thought it was really nice. And I think it was like super cheap. Otherwise, um, Olay body wash is really usually go for like seven to ten bucks here. But I think I got that for like three ninety nine. But I repurchased. I would have, but then I bought one from another brand, which I actually think I like better, and they're like way cheaper. So. Um, maybe if it's on sale again, probably, but otherwise, I guess, uh, yes, no, I don't know, both. Okay, I'm gonna get the random, like, non-beauty related stuff out of the way, because I feel like that would make more sense. Um, but I feel like I have the most of those anyways, because it's very rare for me to run out of makeup. It happens, but, like, not that often. Um, second is the OGX Argan Oil of Morocco Lotion, Body Lotion. Um, this was okay. It was very mediocre. I don't think I'd ever get it again. I think it's just like it was nice when you first applied it and then like after an hour I can see my skin was still super dry. So I'd say if you're not dry like me then yeah, this is great. But it's like marketed as being like, what does it say, intensely nourishing. I don't think it did. So no, stick to like anything else but that. It's just I think the name Slap Bond makes you think gonna be really good because I know that her products are supposed to be good but I know there's also news about how they're not good for your hair now too so yeah I wouldn't repurchase that also I didn't mention this but I actually have a ring light so I hope it's making some difference at first I was restricted to filming only during the daytime because I was at the mercy of daylight but I got a ring light so that I can film around any time so I thought like at nighttime it'd be good and I wanted to test it during the evening to see if it's really good or not. Um, so hopefully it's a go. But yeah, let's continue on. These are all in a bag. I'm sorry if you hear the bag rattling around. Okay. Third is this TheraBreath Fresh Breath Mouth Wash. Um, I got this off the recommendation of like someone on Instagram because they said that it's really good for like fighting bad breath. I don't have bad breath, but I just like that I just made, I just dug myself into a grave there. Okay, I really like mouthwashes, I don't know why, but like I feel incomplete if I don't use a mouthwash after I brush my teeth. I don't think it's even necessary, but I just like it, so I do it. Um, this was actually super pricey, I think it was like $12 to this at Walmart. But it was really good, it didn't burn. Um, it, I did feel like it helped a lot with bad breath, so if that's something that you do wanna look into, it's good. I don't get it for <laughs> the whole reason I got this is honestly is because you know when you go a few hours without drinking anything you have like this really weird taste in your mouth I deal with that a lot so I'm trying to like combat that by drinking a bunch of water but I felt like this helped a lot would I repurchase um probably but I did get another mouthwash from I think Crest which burns when it burns so bad but I guess I'll have to finish that now but I thought this was really good a little pricey but it did last a long time we're going deeper into here. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, these are all so gross. Okay. <laughs> the next product is oh there's a hair on it. 
Okay, the next product is this Cetaphil Gentle Foaming Cleanser. I bought this just to use like to cleanse um, and during the mornings, but I did end up using it when I was wiping off makeup occasionally. It's really good, super gentle, didn't strip my skin. I do have dry skin, I think, as I've said before, and I thought that um, it didn't really make my face feel like super dry and tight after. So I thought it was really nice, and Cetaphil is like known for being super gentle and it has good ingredients. So yeah, I thought it was really good. Um, I don't think it's like, I, I honestly double cleanse, so I wouldn't just use this and then think my makeup removing process is over. So it's good. Um, I would repurchase, but I like trying a lot of new cleansers. So I currently have another one that I'm trying, but I did think this was really good. The next product is another cleanser. I actually got this um, for free from Influencer, which is a... My door just opened. Here you go. So my door had just opened, but I was saying that I actually got this for free from um, a website called Influencer. So basically what you do is you um, join the website and you get to be on some campaigns depending on whether um, you are qualified for them. I think once you build your profile and whatnot. And I got um, this cleanser. It's from Zero. It's their face wash. And I think they sell this now at Walmart. So basically, yes, if you write a review about the products on either their website or wherever they're selling its website, um, you continue to get free products. So it's a really nice um, website. I don't get as many as I'd like to, but I do get a few. So um, yeah, I did like this. I thought it was really nice and gentle. Good morning cleanser. It's not, I wouldn't say it's for removing makeup. I don't know if it's meant to do that. Yeah, no, it's not. It's actually just good to deeply hydrate. And I thought this was really good for hydrating. So yeah. I think these are like, um, I saw them, did I say Walmart? Because I saw them at Shoppers, I think. I didn't see them at Walmart. But I saw them at Shoppers Drug Mart, and I think they're rather cheap. And um, good brand to look at if you want like gentle, super gentle um, skincare products. Okay, so I thought I was going to do these in like some order, but I guess I'm not. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, next is another product that I got from Influencer again. I actually really like this. This is actually the... Fresh kombucha cleansing treatment with a prebiotic in inulin inulin inulin. Uh, I shouldn't have read that part. <laughs> but yeah, this is like I use this after washing my face, um, and I really like this. I thought this was really nice. I think it was um, it contributed a lot to like just wiping off excess makeup that was left on, which I always make sure to not have. Um, but yeah, I think. You can use this as a makeup remover actually. I did not know that. I was literally using it like a toner. Or like not like a toner, but like after I already cleaned my face. But nonetheless, I still like this. Really nice. Um, I know Fresh is super pricey, but I think the products are really good. And this was worth it. Okay, next we have I just said toner. I have a Mario Badescu um mm -hmm. the facial spray. <clears throat> Please excuse me. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> The facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I know there's like a wave of hate for Mario Badescu sprays and people think that they're like, don't do anything, but I do really like these. I did like the rose water one before, but once I um, discovered, the, uh, discovered the aloe cucumber one, I think I like it way better. Would I repurchase? Yes, I already did. And it's really nice. I like this, I use it as a toner. I use it to refresh my face. Um, before applying my skincare products like my hyaluronic acid that I mentioned that I like to apply on a damp, um, my damp skin. I used this before so I really like this. I would repurchase. They also sell um, Mario Badescu and Sephora now so much easier to get. So yeah. Almost just about done. I have another toner. <laughs> um, this is from Lush. It's called the Aroma Toner. Sorry, Aroma Water Toner. I really like this. I love like Lush as a brand. I think they have such good products. They are they tend to go on the more pricey side, but they're all natural, handmade. Um, I'm pretty sure everywhere has Lush. I'm sure it's not like just the states in Canada, but um, if you ever walk into a Lush store, it's impossible to walk out empty-handed. And I've tried a lot of their stuff. I've tried their lotions. I've tried their shampoos. They like shampoo bars. I've tried their like. Um, their serums, they're like in a bar. Everything's really nice. Uh, they are they go price here, but I think um, you get what you pay for since it's an all natural brand, all natural brand. So 
so yeah this is really good and um i think i would repurchase this they also have other toners that i'd like to try so yeah lush is a brand that i think i'll constantly be buying from so yeah i think this is a go almost the end here i think i have this is my second last product i have the ordinary hyaluronic acid two percent plus b5 you guys know i love this i think i sang it's pretty in my skincare favorite video but i love this this is like my fourth fifth i don't even know what bottle um i love hyaluronic acid my dry skin loves this i don't think i'd ever not that i've like tried hyaluronic acid i don't think i ever want to be without it so i know that's a big claim but ever since i've used hyaluronic acid i don't think i've ever not had it in my skincare rotation and this was the small size i had said in my uh, last video and what i repurchased 100 percent already did and i got the big daddy version so well worth it this is the best this is like if one thing if you should get one thing from the ordinary let it be this thank me later <laughs> product we have here is a makeup product it's my only makeup empty product but yeah this doesn't look oh my god this is so gross <laughs> this doesn't look like it's empty but it is i've tried like squeezing and scraping but this is called the elf hydrated camel concealer this is a great concealer super inexpensive super good coverage they do have like a the normal version like just the original camel concealer but i think i like the hydrating one a little better um, I already did repurchase this. I got it in a different shade though because I was using this like mixing some of my foundations to adjust the shade. So I had it in light sand and I think I went a color up if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I did repurchase this. So a uh, really good um, and expensive drugstore concealer. You can get all that Walmart here. You can get it at Shoppers now too. What else has all? I guess only please. I don't think I've ever seen it at like Superstore or anything. But yeah. So shoppers, Walmart, online, of course. But yeah, all those really nice. So that was all my empties for, I was going to say for this month, but I don't even go through that much stuff in a month. I don't know. Do I? I've never like accumulated empty products, so maybe I do. I don't know. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I actually had lots of fun filming. I didn't plan to film today. I just had nothing to do. And I was like, you know what? I really want to film. And I've been putting it off for so long because of school and just busy life in general. But I'm glad I filmed today. Let me just check if I'm missing things. No, I did not. So hopefully if I ever have makeup empties, I'll try to accumulate as much as I can. Um, but makeup is something that I don't run through as fast because it's not something I wear like seven days a week. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching again. Bye. Okay, I need to film a thumbnail because I like always forget and then when I'm editing I'm like why did I film a thumbnail? Let me see if I how I can do this. Um without getting it all over me. <laughs> I don't think I can do this one. Okay. I can just try some I guess. Ooh. Okay. One of these better work.